So, all right, so what we're going to demonstrate here is the ability to make a SOAP call to web to NetSuite web services, right? And Correct. we're going to use the uh, Postman uh, Chrome extension client, which we would use for a lot of our REST work, but now we're doing a web, web services call. So you're saying, uh, Boban, that you got this information from NetSuite's web services integration log to get the payload of what was coming in? Is that where this came from? Exactly. That's right. Most of this came from there. There were, uh, in, the, in the authentication, there was a slight difference between, let's say, the Marketo integration and the FAR app integration. So I had to fiddle with that a little bit. But the whole body that they were posting, I got from the integration log. Oh, okay. So you just lift that from the web services integration log, right? Then you paste it into here. It looks like you got to touch a little bit around the credential information. Is that correct? Exactly. So in the log, of course, you won't see the credentials. So like when I looked at the log, it had all of this, but the password was asterisk out, just as I did now for the, for the recording of this. Otherwise, I would put my own. Also, they were using a different email and password for their work. It was just a different user account. I used my own, but you know, it totally doesn't make a difference. And what's over there on the headers? I see it says three right. headers over there. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, it's got to be a post. Got right? it. Yeah. You have to know the right URL, uh, including the In the uh, Sweet Talk API version that they're using. Right? Okay, that 13. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you'll notice throughout here it's referencing 13.1. So you got to get that consistent. Does that does that when you when you pull that over from the uh, from the web services integration area does it get that information does it have those right yeah. pointers basically yeah all of this was in there so it's pretty convenient you don't have to exactly. kind of massage it much okay yeah when I dealt with the Marketo one I'll show you it was a little different it was a little harder but I'll I'll cover that in a second okay so yeah so it's, it's got to be a post you, know, you got the endpoint the headers here they're important in the sense that okay so you've got the, the content type and accept. The SOAP action is the key. Hmm. Uh, if you look, it's an ad, mm -hmm. and in here, um, it's an ad. Got it. Right? So the action that you're performing has to be in the headers as got the it. SOAP action. Got it, got it. Otherwise, that, that won't work. Right? The body, then, is the full body, and that's really all there is to it. Post to that URL, those three headers, and then the body. There's nothing in the authorization because... This okay, the it's very straightforward, and then you just push yeah. it? Yeah, you just send that, and then you get your response down here. Right. Okay, great. So, and, then, and then, of course, you can go to the web services log as well and see that you just pushed it and so forth, right? Exactly. You'll see the same things. And you'll see in the web integration log, things are listed based on the action that came in. So the, the log shows you, you know, the, the integration point, the user ID, whatever, and the specific action, so it's fairly easy to correlate those things to each other. Okay.